to have this group of people who are giving themselves to making a great movie about Magic Oria. So, uh, but um, so De Father Dan, you do any other? Uh, you want to jump in there? And, and you know, I was thinking, um, Holly, is it um, is is it difficult this these days in uh, Hollywood culture to to make a major motion picture about such a religious and spiritual topic, or the, or is there a new trend where there's more of an openness to that? Because that, that's so interesting. That you know, it's it's not the days of uh, Song of Bernadette, where a <laughs> film about Marian apparitions can be nominated at the Oscars yeah. for Best Picture. It almost seems like yeah. um, it's become a very uh, secularized industry. So, so in itself, it, it seems like a bit of a novelty. But, but, but you've also made uh, uh, Fatima, and that's uh, that was such a beautiful work uh, that perhaps opened the door a bit. I, I think that's an excellent question. No, I don't think Hollywood's changed. I don't think they like religious movies at all. I think the world wants them. I think mm -hmm. we're we're in a drought for God. Mm -hmm. I think our audience wants them. I think the people want them. And now I, I think it's, I want to be very clear. We are not making a religious movie about Medjugorje, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. We are going to create a global picture that won't appeal to the religious audience. We want to appeal to the non-religious, you know, creating um, teams of, of solid people that could uh, bring a project to fruition um, in that development space. And that, that being said, I don't feel like I hang out with Hollywood people, if you know what I mean. I don't, I, I, I kind of stay outside Hollywood and work with people who would like to make a difference based on the message or based on um, uh, just wanting to leave a lasting impact through the arts and, 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 and the culture in, in a different way. Does and that make I, sense? Yeah. And you yeah. know what, Holly, I'd like to ask you to speak on something too. Um, and that is that um, there may, you know, big studio out there probably is not interested in making movies like this, but we're, we are an indie project. And can you maybe explain why we are and what that means? And sure, um, sure. So, I think that's important um, to understand. Right. So indie films are independent film companies. There are many that are just, you know, a filmmaker or just, you know, make one or two movies. I ha happen to be a part of a production company out of Atlanta, Go Media Productions. And we, we do everything from uh, pre-production to distribution all the way to the end. So um, we have to fundraise and raise our own development funds or you know debt financing or whatever it is, raise our own money in order to control our message and do what we wanna do. Big studios, um, that have all the money to just start a movie, they control the message and they control the project. And we don't want anybody to control our message, but our team whom we trust. And so that's kind of the difference. You've got big studios and you can name them all day long. I don't want to give them any commercial time, but then you have the independent film companies and there are a lot of us and we're all out there trying to make a difference in, in, our, in our own way. When Lucas met with everybody in April, Anne had mentioned how Father Yozo Zako had said, the lady's been waiting for you. One by one, everyone that met with Lucas, every person that we named, Father Joe, uh, Father Svet, uh, Archbishop Cavalli, Father Yozo Zavko, every single one said, this is, this is the producer. This is the one. Mm. This is the one. Our lady called. Oh. She's a Jewish mother and of she's course. calling, she's calling her children. She's calling all of us. She's calling everybody. You know, she, she wants us all to say yes to the graces that God has for us.